hello everyone welcome to solve this nice uh, algebra problem so here we have k minus 4 to the power of 4 equals to k to the power of 4 and now we solve this problem for the values of k so here the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to move this k to the power of 4 in the left hand side and it will be written as k minus 4 and its whole power 4 minus k to the power of 4 equals to 0. Okay, so further you see here uh, we rewrite these two terms as in this form k minus 4 and its whole square. Here we need to break this exponent 4. So we write this exponent 4 as k minus 4, k minus 4 whole square and its whole square. Okay. You see that these two exponents are multiplied by each other and you again get this 4. So we write this k to the power of 4 as k square and its whole square and this is equals to 0. Okay, so further you see here, uh, here we need the nice algebraic formula. You very well know about this formula. If we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b here we need to apply this nice algebraic formula uh, so uh, according to this formula you see here this is the value of our a and a is k minus 4 square this is the value of b b is k square so when you use this formula so that our uh, above expression will be written as k minus 4 square and minus k square this is the our first factor into uh, the second factor is k minus 4 square plus k square this is the second factor and this whole equals to 0 okay so further you see here uh, now we divide this uh, question into the two cases so that our first case is to take k minus 4 square minus k square equals to 0 and the second factor is k minus 4 square plus k square equals to 0. So now we divide this into the two cases uh, to solve for the value of k. Here we need to first focus on a case number one so that from case number one we have uh, we need to copy down case number one here it will be written as k minus four square minus k square equals to zero so here we just apply uh, this nice formula again on this term okay we use this nice formula here so according to this formula we will write this term as k minus four 4 and because this is a minus b so here our a is k minus 4 k minus 4 minus k into k minus 4 and plus k so this is equals to 0 okay so now you see here this k is cancelled out by this k and we will obtain here minus 4 into this is k plus k becomes 2k and minus 4 equals to 0 so here we need to divide both of the sides by minus 4 in this way then uh, you will get these are cancelled by each other and we get 2k minus 4 equals to 0 over minus 4 becomes 0. So we easily get here the value of 2k equals to 4 and now again we divide both of the sides by 2 so you finally get the first value of k is equals to 2 okay because this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 so this is the our first uh, real solution of the given equation and now in order to find the other uh, roots we need to uh, solve the second case so uh, for uh, for second case here we need to copy down the second equation here so now we write the second equation here it is k minus 4 square min uh, plus k square equals to 0 here we need to simplify the uh, the first uh, factor so we apply the nice square identity here so we have a minus b whole square equals to a square minus two times of a b plus b square here we use this nice formula to the first factor 
so after applying uh, this formula on, uh, on mm, this formula on the first factor it will be written as k square minus 2 times of k into 4 and plus k square and, uh, and plus 4 square so this is b square so b is our 4 square and this is k square equals to 0 so here we need more simplifications uh, and we write it as k square minus this is 4 times of 2 becomes 8k and plus 4 square equals to 16 plus k square equals to 0 and now we add the like terms so you see here our uh, like terms are k square plus k square becomes 2k square minus 8k plus 16 equals to 0 so here you see that each of these terms involve uh, 2 or divisible by 2 so that now we divide both of the sides by 2 okay so here we divide both of the sides by 2 and it will be written in this way so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get k square minus this 2 4 is 8 and we get minus 4k this 2 8 is 16 equals to 0 over 2 becomes 0 and you see here this equation will become quadratic in k variable so that uh, here we need to use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 8 and we know that the quadratic formula will be stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so here we need to substitute the values of a b and c and you see here the value of b is uh, minus 4 we substitute it here and it will be written as minus into minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 8 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so further we need more simplifications and you write it as k equals to minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and plus minus square root of minus 4 square equals to 16 and 4 8 is 32 and it is divided by 2 1 is 2 okay so here we need more simplification so you uh, just subtract these two values and it will be written as 4 plus minus 16 minus 32 equals to minus 16 and it is divided by 2 so here we uh, uh, separate the square root on 16 and negative term so we write it as 4 plus minus square root of 16 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 okay so further you see here we have a 4 plus minus we know that the square root of 16 equals to 4 and the square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so after that we need to uh, break this fraction and it will be written as k equals to 4 over 2 plus minus 4 over 2 into iota so you see here this 2 is cancelled out by 4 2 2 is a 4 and here again you have 2 2 is a 4 and we get the value of k is equals to 2 plus minus 2 iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and its first real root is k equals to 2 so these are the three solutions of the given problem and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos